I basically work on the nexus of water, energy, chemicals and nutrients. My name is Kartik Chandran. I'm an associate professor of Earth and Environmental Engineering at Columbia University. So today as a society, we are faced with multiple challenges, including lack of clean water, lack of energy, food security. So our philosophy, our vision is to address these multiple challenges in conjunction and not in isolation. Wastewater has traditionally been uh, used to describe what human beings uh, generate. How much water do we consume per day, uh, uh, per capita? It's about uh, two liters or half a gallon a day. Now the wastewater we generate in the U.S. per capita per day is 100 gallons. It's comprised not just of human waste, but it's uh, water that we use, for wa that we use for washing, uh, for showers, for, for irrigation, everything. That, that, all that now collectively is termed wastewater. So wastewater itself traditionally has been viewed as something negative. It has been used as something that we need to uh, get rid of, that we need to address in one form or the other. Uh, to me, these are not just waste streams, these are enriched streams. So these are enriched in nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus. These are enriched in carbon, organic carbon. These are also enriched in energy. And so if we, if we now start to think about these as enriched uh, streams, these now contain resources that we could extract and recover and, and use. Using alternate biological processes, we can convert the carbon uh, present in these waste uh, streams to methane, and methane can be directly used for energy. We can extract the methane and we can, uh, we can use it for uh, co-generation of electricity and power. There are, uh, there are many utilities in the, in the nation that actually do this. This changes the game when we are talking about develop, developing or underdeveloped economies where people just don't have access to sanitation because they don't have access to energy to drive these energy intensive sanitation processes or wastewater treatment processes. So what we are now doing is considering when we start talking about waste streams as energy sources, we are basically driving the treatment of these waste streams from the energy which is produced from within these streams. One example of our field work is in Ghana where we've been working with Engineers Without Borders, the student chapter at Columbia University to design and implement novel toilets that can separate out the urine stream and the fecal sludge stream uh, from human waste. And uh, the end application uh, for this project has been the reuse and recovery of nutrients from the urine stream for agriculture in villages in Ghana. Another example of our fieldwork in Ghana is uh, the conversion of fecal sludge to biodiesel to drive the conversion of fecal sludge to more high value endpoints. So far, uh, the focus has been predominantly on the te technical innovations, the creativity in that direction. On the other hand, on the other direction, there are also immense global societal human needs. Uh, what I would like to do is, using the resources afforded by the foundation, is to create the innovations, the creativity with the global needs.